What is up guys, Digital Next, and today uh, we're doing a Darman video, I know. But before we start the Darman video, you guys, I just wanna let everyone know to make sure to follow me on my socials, whether that be my Twitter, my Instagram, or uh, my Twitch. Yeah, that's right, I'm back to streaming on Twitch. So uh, if you wanna watch me live, go on to my Twitch and uh, hit that follow button. It's great, but seriously guys. Pick up the pace. You don't want to be late for your last day of school before winter break. Oh, man, I am so pumped. Mom, when we're on break, can we make cookies? Oh, absolutely. We're why you gotta wait on, why you gotta wait till break to make cookies? Why not just make them now? I've been making them bad boys every night, okay? I ain't gotta wait till break. I can't wait till the weekend to make cookies. No, I'm gonna make them right now. Like, I'm gonna wait. Who do you think I am? Can we spend a whole day playing charades? Or watching Elf on repeat? <laughs> yes, guys. We're gonna do all of our winter traditions. Especially the one I love the most, which is volunteering at the homeless shelter. Dang, that's so cool for you to do, Mom. I'm so proud of you for doing that by yourself. That is insane. Way to go, Mom, you know? Uh, I'm gonna do my favorite thing and enjoy my time off. I know, crazy idea, right? But you, you go, Mom. Those homeless people won't feed themselves. Bye, Mom. The next time says we'll officially be on winter break. Ho, winter, winter break. break. Winter break. Winter, winter break. break. What? Well, I'm excited about winter break. I am too. Darn man, next time you do a scene like this, when they get in the car and want it to blow up, and the mom's just like, oh, you know, just freaking out. Because what's the lesson I learned there? Always check underneath the cars. See if there's an ignition switch, you know? Something along those lines. Okay, it looks like most of you are already in that winter break state of mind. Me too. Let's say we're just finished for the rest of the day. <laughs> why would, my thing is, if you know you're going on winter break, even the teachers, why would you even teach anything that day? Why not just take a relax, so you know it's the last day, let's just all enjoy some peace and quiet. Isn't that amazing, everyone? Go ahead, sit on your phones, don't be too loud, I don't wanna hear it. I'm gonna call it a day. How about we go around the room and we share what we're gonna be doing for winter break? Uh, well, my family and I have a bunch of traditions that we do every year, like making cookies and playing charades and watching Elf like a million times. Oh, that sounds like fun. Sounds like a poor girl's Christmas to me, right? Oh my gosh, spending time with your family sounds like a poor person thing to do. Am I right, you guys? Guys, I said am I right? Anyway, poor people, am I right? First, we're going on an epic shopping spree to buy new outfits for the big trip. What's the big trip, you ask? Well, every year my family runs out a bunch of rooms at a little place called Hotel de Plage. What? I don't, I don't know what that place is. I'm surprised you guys are staying at Hotel de Plage, but I think your family might be better suited for Hotel de Douche, you know? I, probably. It's the most expensive resort in the country. And MBD, but we also have dinner reservations at Delphine's. What is Delphine's? What is Delphine's? You don't know? It's only the best restaurant in the country. Yeah, when I say what it is, that means I don't know. Are you stupid or are you dumb? If you're explaining something and I'm like, what is that? And you tell me you don't know, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I don't think I need you to explain it anymore because I think you're I think you're just a few crayola short of a full crayon box and I don't want your explanation any longer. Don't ask me, you don't know? You don't know what that is? And MBD, but we'll also have access to an exclusive private beach the whole time. Well, we are excited to hear how it is. You take pics. Oh, we will. So who'd like to go next? Yeah, I know. That is a tough one to follow. A tough one, the who cares what they're, what they're doing? I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stay home. I'm gonna enjoy my break with my family, you know? I'm gonna eat a bunch of junk food, play some games, talk some smack online. Definitely not gonna call in a fake, uh, you know, explosive threat to a certain hotel so that way everyone's trip is ruined. But you know, just gonna chill. Just gonna chill. That's a joke, by the way. Just gonna chill and uh, yeah, have a good weekend or have a good break. You know, it might be fun if we invited her on our trip. Ew, why would we bring a poor girl to do posh things? Just stick out like a sore thumb. Exactly. Wouldn't it be so funny if we recorded her like wearing a Walmart bathing suit and like trying to read a French menu? 
first of all, no one at the resort's gonna make fun of you for the outfit that you wear there. No one, unless the, the people who bring you make fun of you, I hardly doubt anyone else is gonna care. Two, oh, trying to read a French, that's what Google translates for. I have that on my phone. Everyone has that on their phone. So she can easily go through the menu. And the, the, the whole menu's not just gonna, be, you're in America, it's just gonna, not gonna all be in French. Of course there's gonna be little subtitles on there. There'll be little wording and parentheses that tell you what it is. You don't just go to some place and they're like, oh, welcome to America, here's all the French menu, you know? And you can't read it, they don't do that. Julia, wait up. <laughs> Looks like you've got some fun winter break plans. You really think so? I think what you guys are doing is way cooler. Well, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Actually, we were wondering if you wanted to come with us. I'm okay, I don't wanna go to Hotel D. Ellen Page, so we're just gonna stay here. What What does NBD stand for, please? NBD, no big deal. We turned no big deal, we turned an old saying, yeah, no big deal. We turned no big deal into NBD, you can't just say NBD. I get laughing out loud, I'd rather say lol than laughing out loud, but NBD, you sound stupid. And when I when I am criticizing these videos, please, I'm not criticizing the actors. I'm criticizing the characters. They, you know, I'm sure the actors have different opinions. Are you sure it's cool with your parents if I come? I mean, it's pretty short notice. Oh, they don't care about literally anything. I'm always allowed to bring as many friends as I want. Okay, I'll check with my parents to see if I can. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll call you tonight. Yeah. Oh, don't call me. I don't do calls. Text only. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay, weirdo. Uh. I swear, if her parents' problem is that they don't pay enough attention, what did I say in a few videos ago? They always make the, the the rich parents' problem is that they don't spend enough time with their kids. You know, that's always the rich person's problem. You know, it's I I need them to have a new problem, all right? Besides not loving their children enough. Are you sure you want to do this fancy schmancy trip instead of spending time with us? Yes. I mean, sort of. Compared to this, watching movies and making cookies is pretty lame. I mean, who wouldn't rather be on a private beach and be eating food at Delphine's? Who's Delphine? I would. Look, she's not a better cook than I am, I'll tell you that. I, I would rather be home than on a private resort. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've been to a resort before, they're very nice. And, and it's fun, but nothing, I don't know, I think at a certain point in life when you have a home, and you've made it your home, it's just, that's where you'd rather be most of the time, you know? I don't know, it's all your stuff's there. It's just like your comfort place. You know, what am I gonna do at a private resort? I go swim in the, go swim on the beach, go swim on the pool, and then what am I do? Relax, I can relax here. I have a pool here. I might eat the hotel food. I can order food. This time of year, it's about appreciating everything that you have. Not focusing on the things you don't. But I'll never be able to do anything like this ever again because we're poor. We are not poor. Yes, we are. Especially Girl, you see this house? Excuse me? Does this look, does this look poor to you? <laughs> well, it is your break. And even though we'll miss you, if this is something that you really, really want to do, then yes, you can go. Yes! But you have... That's fine. Let her make her own mistakes. Okay, this is this is perfectly fine. You know, let it go. And then if something happens, lesson learned. Julia, you must try this on. You think so? I wasn't planning on buying anything. Oh, you have to get something. This is where Vanessa and I do all of our shopping. Yeah, but I have to get something. Oh my gosh, does it say that like in the the rich people handbook that anytime we go shopping, I have to buy something? Really? It says that? Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Just be like. Mm, not really my style. It's nice, but I don't like it all that much. Actually, I don't really like anything here. I don't think it looks all that great. And then you can, they're like, oh, this is, this is, blah, 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 blah. Do you know how expensive this store is? Blah, 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 blah. And then that's when you reply with, you know, just because it's, just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's, it looks all that great. Who cares? I don't think I really want to pay for a name. I mean, it looks like it would fit, but it's just 34, and I'm usually a size two. I'll just ask if they have my size. Excuse me, do you have this in a size two? That is a size two. We're a European company, and therefore we use European sizing. Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I I thought I forgot. I must have forgot my passport at the hotel, or I must have forgot my passport at home. 
Because I don't remember leaving the country of uh, USA. Because I think we're still in America, if I'm not mis mistaken. So how about you put some US sizes on those pieces of clothing? Huh? USA! USA! So is it okay if I try it on? I can't believe it's only $10. <laughs> Where'd you see $10? It's not $10. It's $1,000. For a dress? Oh my god. Her utter stupidity is hilarious. <laughs> you no, got that it, was right? stupid on her part, though. So who thinks the one zero 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 and was like, oh my gosh, only ten dollars? That's so crazy. Who knew that these girls that go on such expensive places shop at such cheap places? That's crazy. That, that was her fault for walking into that one. Oh, let me guess, it's work. Uh, well, there he goes again. Welcome to Chef Delphine's. I've got menu for everybody. There you go. Wow, this place is really nice. Did you fly all the way from Paris to work here in America at this restaurant? All right, or unless I'm stupid, unless they flew to Europe, did they go to Europe? Am I just dumb and they went to Europe for a vacation? Or did they just go somewhere in the United States? Is Hotel Ellen Page uh, a real place? Where did they go? Help Where is the setting? Where is this hotel at? For, for me to not look stupid, we're just gonna say this is set in America. I very much doubt her parents were gonna let her go to Europe with another family for Christmas break. Can I get you started with something to drink? Mm. Double martini, please. Okay, and you girls? I'll have some sparkling apple cider. Same. Same. Wait, I'll be right back to take your order. Well, so, okay. Julia, do you see anything that looks good? You couldn't have just been like, oh, water. I'll have le Coca-Cola, le Spray, you know? Stop being a sheep, stop following. Just you do react video, shut up. True. Let's, let's see this real quick, hold on. So, Julia, do you see anything that looks good? Uh, yeah. Let's try a little something. We're gonna go ahead and use Google Translate, right? We'll, we'll say, what, what is this? Stupid French, I'm just kidding. Let's say this is what, French? Camera, let's see. Okay, the first one, the escargot, obviously I knew that was snails. That is snails with garlic butter. The second one is pork casserole with mustard sauce. That just sounds gross. The next one is uh, duck breast, then rabbit with cream, and then Normandy chicken. I don't know if that chicken's storming any place, but you know. And the last one is fish of the day from what I can see, the le poison du jour. Just go with pal palette et la Normandy. How's the escargots? You mean the escargot? Yeah, that. It's phenomenal. It might be the best escargot in the world. In the world? Yes. All right then, I'll have that. Okay. I've had escargot before, it's okay. It's not something I would go out of my way to just be like, oh my God, I, I have to have snail. It's delicious. And you got I'm good. good, thank you. All right. By the way, Mrs. Walker, Thanks again for letting me crash your trip. Mom, Trulio was just trying. Hold on, hon, I'm busy. Busy doing what? You don't even work. Oh my gosh, who would have thought the parents don't pay attention to the kids? Mind blown, because remember, every rich parent doesn't pay attention to the kids. That's just the thing that rich people do. Once you become rich and you have kids, you, there's something that just kind of blocks them out and you don't see them anymore, because that's, that's just the problem. I Give me a rich person who's really nice and picks up on the bad habits of their kid and just be like, hey, you're being a jerk, stop. You know, cut it out. Oh man, the kid's a jerk. Excuse Never me, please, while I go to the powder room. Wow, you can talk to your mom like that? This guy go? Oh, thank you. That's an appetizer? Oh, I guess. Go on, Julia, dig in. Well, she doesn't even know what it is, so it's not gonna, it's garlic butter. You're just gonna, you're gonna taste something in garlic and butter, and that's on bread. You're not gonna know what it is, so just enjoy it for what it is and be like, okay, that wasn't so bad. How is it? It's good. You know, escargot is snails, right? Like, do you know you're eating snails right now? Snails? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, she was fine. As long as she didn't know what it was, she would have ate it. She, she would have finished it. And then when you found out what it was, you could have been like, oh, okay, you know what? That's not too bad. I can I can see why rich people like this type of stuff, you know? I guess I guess in order to enjoy it, you have to have a really refined palate, but 
it doesn't seem like you two have a, a refined enough palate to enjoy it, so. This is your room, Julia. I thought we'd all be sharing, like a sleepover situation. Why would we do that when we can afford separate ones? I don't know, because sleepovers are fun. I prefer to have my own. Same. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think the biggest problem is people want to fit in. People want to feel like they belong somewhere. They want to fit in with the cool kids. And people really have this high expectation to do that. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's something you'll get over as you grow up. You realize there was there were no cool kids in high school. Oh my gosh, you remember that cool kid that, the, that everyone hung around with? Yeah, he's working at McDonald's right now. We should go hang out with him. Oh, okay, now before you start, I'm not saying McDonald's is a bad job. I'm just saying that, you know, being the cool kid isn't always what it's cracked up to be at. You guys only put that in your mind in high school. I feel like in high school, that's the only place that ever matters. And even then it doesn't really matter. I know what I said was contra, whatever, okay? And I will say this in every video. Do not worry about other people's opinions of you in high school Do, or, or, or any grade whatsoever. Do not worry about the cool people, what they're doing or fitting in. Please, please do not worry about fitting in. Of course, have friends, have your little friend group. That's fine, but don't try fitting in with the popular kids because at the end of the day, it's not gonna matter. Oh, hi, Annie. Okay, hold on. One word, it's a movie. Yes. It's Jazz. Yes, yes, yes. That's right, kiddo. Oh man, I wish I had you on my team. Miss you. I miss you too, Dad. I miss all of you. So. Oh, it's a little too late for that because you decided to go hang out with the dumb rich kids, so I hope you enjoy your trip. Boom! Hang up. Hang up. It's been good. Uh, we went shopping and ate at a nice restaurant. Oh, yeah? Plus, I got my own room. Aw, well, I'm glad you're having a nice time, honey. And, oh, look. I saved you some cookies. Oh, they cookies look so look like yummy. Trash. Well, we don't want to hold you up from your friends, so uh, we'll see you soon. Now what? Now I get to, now I get to sit in bed and just lie on my phone? I could have done that at home. But before I did that, I could have been on my game. Vacation sucks sometimes. What you're about to see is super cringe. We took this super poor girl from our school and brought her on a vacation that her and her family could never afford. OMG, so cringe, but also so LOL. Watch this. Excuse me, do you have this in a size? There's no way these girls would not get canceled instantly. You posted that on TikTok. There are so many like SJWs and like, there, it's not even SJWs. There's just genuinely nice people on TikTok. So if you did something like that, people would instantly bash you for it. They would call you out. There's no way that, oh. It's not $10, it's $1,000. For a dress? How embarrassing is that? What kind of person doesn't know their European size? Um, a Someone who lives in America and doesn't look at European sizes, that's, that's who. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Ready to hit the beach? I don't think so. What do you mean? Who says- Uh, I don't think so, stupid. I- I'm sure if you would have looked at the comments more than a majority- Unless it was posted on Instagram. People on Instagram reels are ruthless. I posted a reel not too long ago of me showing off my anime figures. And, uh... <laughs> the best way I can explain the scenario is I, this is Instagram, people on Instagram reels are absolutely mean, okay? I put on my, my Sunday best, I got all nice looking, all right? I was going to my grandma's house and I just happened to walk down the wrong neighborhood, which is the neighborhood of Instagram reels, all right? Usually I take the TikTok neighborhood and I have no problem getting to my grandma's house, but I went down the Instagram reel neighborhood and, um... For some reason, everyone decided they were just gonna beat me up that day. <laughs> everyone came out of their house, they came out of their apartment, wherever they were living from. They came outside and called people from other neighborhoods just to come beat me up for no reason. I, they must have had a bad day and they decided they were just gonna take it out on me. That's that's what it, that's what that comment section was like. Personally, I don't mind. I don't care what people's opinions are about me. I really don't. I don't care what people think about me. Blah, 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 blah. I think it's funny when people talk smack about me, because the easiest thing I can tell you to do is just turn off your phone. If it bothers you, turn off your phone. And that's it, and you don't even have to look at it anymore. But I just thought it was funny that everyone decided they were just gonna gang up on me. Why are so you orange? You posted? Why are it you wasn't serious. Orange? We were just having a little 
fun. It, yeah. Is that why you brought me with you? Not because you actually wanted to hang out with me, but because you wanted to mock me? I mean, sort of. But what's the big deal? I why are you now just figuring this out? Why, out of all the people, like two girls that were literally mean to you in class, they've probably been mean to you all year, all of a sudden decided they were gonna invite you on a an expensive trip and you didn't think something was up? Oh yeah, last second they had a change of heart. Some, something ain't, mm -mm, something ain't right here, right? Hold up, wait a minute. You still get to hang out with us. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to do all of these cool things otherwise, yeah, so lane, really you should be thanking us. <laughs> I feel we might not have as much money as you, but we have enough. And we have a lot of fun together. Which after seeing how your family spends time together, honestly, I'd take my life over yours any day. Thank you, and then I would rip her to one and be like, I don't even think your mom likes you. I think your mom literally puts up with you. And if she could change your daughter, she probably would. Your dad probably hates you too, because if you really loved you, he'd be spending time with you on this trip. I think your parents honestly just take you on these trips probably to shut you up. And they don't really enjoy your time. Well, I'm gonna go back to my home where my parents love me. And we're gonna spend time together because we're gonna watch movies and eat snacks together. Because that's what families do. Yeah, yeah, your parents hate you. You ate. A snail? Honey, I am so sorry they did that to you. And I'm sorry I missed out on all our winter break traditions this year. I'm excited to do them next year, and the year after that, and the year after that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you miss? You can still watch Elf, you can still play charades, and you can still bake cookies. The only thing you probably miss is helping the homeless people, which you're very lucky. Do you still think that we're poor? Well, I mean, there's still a lot of things that we can't afford to buy or do, so sort of. I mean, I'm still pretty jealous of people like Audra. Not her family dynamic, but all the nice clothes and stuff. So by her logic, if I was, if I had $50 million, but in order for me to fly my own rocket to space, land there and do something, it costs $500 million. I, I'm poor because I couldn't afford to do that. According to her, I'm poor by her logic. Is she gonna learn a lesson in like three seconds here at the soup kitchen? Just taste my good. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, wow, thank you. I'm so hungry. Oh, do you think I could get a little bit more food? No! We have sense amounts for everyone! If I give you more, someone gets less! Is that what you want? Is that what you want on the holidays? Get out of here! Asking for more, what's wrong with you? Are you homeless and greedy? Sorry, it's one plate per person. Oh, well then, I can have some for my children. Wow, thank you so much. What do you say, kids? Thank you. Thank you so much. Happiness comes from appreciating everything that you have, not focusing on the things you don't. I see that now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Darn man, what was the lesson here? What? <laughs> she learned the lesson that quick? All it took was her going to the homeless shelter and she learned it like that? Yeah, after seeing a poor person for the first time in my entire life, I, I learned to appreciate what I should have. We are so grateful to have such a smart, beautiful, thoughtful daughter. <laughs> Which is why we got you something. Well, two things. Cookies. I'm telling you, those cookies My favorite. Men. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, honey, we bought you the dress that you wanted. That's just ugly. Tell your mom to return it and say, and just give you the thousand dollars so you can like spend it on something else that's use. You really need a dress that's a thousand dollars? Really? No one, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna wear that dress. No one's gonna know how much it costs. And be like, oh my gosh, that's a nice dress. And that's it. What are you gonna go do? Walk around till, yeah, it was a thousand dollars. Yes, yeah, I, this is a thousand dollar dress. Who cares? Anytime someone says I'm wearing something nice, I'll be like, yeah, it was five dollars. Goodwill. I saw it in the video. Think of it as a early present for next year. You did? Mm -hmm. I don't want it. I already have everything I need. Wow, lesson learned. You know, I'm okay with this ending, even though she randomly just learned the lesson by seeing a homeless person. The reason I'm okay with it is because the rich girl, nothing good happened to her. Her family still hates her. And she's, <laughs> you know, her mom is still, you know, he's still doing that. And uh, the dad is nowhere to be found. So she's probably still living a miserable life and I'm okay with her not getting a happy ending.
All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe and turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.